Army of the Dead was written, produced, directed, and shot by Zack Snyder. This is not his only zombie film. He uh, earlier directed, back in 2004, the remake of Dawn of the Dead, which I liked, but honestly, I haven't watched uh, that film in years, uh, mostly because I'm mostly stuck with the original, and from time to time, I would watch the remake because I thought it to be, for the most part, entertaining. And that's exactly how I felt about Army of the Dead. This was... Whew! It was definitely something alright. It was really entertaining from start to finish for me, personally. So the story revolves around a group of mercenaries who are tasked to steal $200 million in a vault below a casino in Las Vegas that is populated entirely by zombies. They even have a zombie tiger, and there's even a zombie horse. It's that kind of movie. And I am fine with that, honestly. So before this movie was released in a select few screenings and theaters, I had I, I didn't really pay much attention about it but until my friend Austin mentioned it to me, and I checked out the trailer, and I'm like, okay, I gotta check this out. And uh, a week before it's airing on Netflix, we decided to check it out in theaters. And I found the film to be, for the most part, entertaining, and it delivers what you would want for a Zack Snyder zombie film, and it's violent as hell. <laughs> there are moments where you would be like, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, because it's that type of film when it comes to zombie violence. And honestly, I, I told uh, one of my friends this, this gives The Walk of Dead a run for its money. And that's saying something. But it's a film that does not take itself too seriously. Uh, there's a moment where the mercenaries are, like, going through this hallway that's filled with zombies and hibernation. But, I mean, they're, I mean, well, they're sleeping. And I'm like, okay, why would they need to sleep? They're dead. I mean, well, I'm like, okay then. But there's a something about this one scene about the, the uh, about these guys just going through the zombies just very slowly just trying not to wake them up that does make me laugh a little bit almost like it's almost like you remember the cave of wonders scene in aladdin where uh where the cave says touch nothing but the lamp it almost kind of reminds me of that one scene like if you like accidentally like bump into a zombie you i mean you wake you wake them up and then all of a sudden you notice you're basically fucked that's that's kind of the vibe that i'm getting whenever i watch that scene it's it's scary but also hilarious at the same time now when it comes to dave batista in this movie i thought he was pretty good i know that I've a lot of us know that he's not the best of actors, but this is the type of role that really suits his strengths. And I love what he managed to do in this movie, and especially the relationship with his daughter, played by Ella Pernell. I hope I said her name right, or at least close. She was also pretty good in, in the film. As for the other cast members, I thought they were pretty good for the most part. I mean, you have, like, a few people who are, like, stupidly buffed and just ready to kill some zombies. You got a few sharpshooters and you have the helicopter pilot. You know you always want to be friends with the helicopter pilot. It's always the best thing. When it comes to the zombies themselves, they are pretty terrifying, especially the ones that, I mean, the alphas is what, uh, what they're called. They look pretty scary, in my opinion. The makeup work on the zombies, it's phenomenal, and I would be baffled if this film didn't get an Oscar nomination for Best Makeup, because that is a serious contender for that award, in my opinion, and please give this film a nomination for Best Makeup. That is some top-notch shit, and I am proud of that. The zombie tigers and the horse is, I mean, they're CGI, which is pretty obvious. Although, if you do want me to nitpick it, I think mostly because of its runtime, uh, there are some times where, uh, where its pacing can be a little bit off on, when it comes to certain scenes, and when you watch, like, certain scenes, when it comes to the pacing, you'll be like, 
how close are we get to the end of the movie? I'm like, I wasn't like like that throughout all the movie. I mean, I wasn't bored with it or anything. I just, I found the film to be suspenseful. And like I said, I thought it was entertaining. But there are moments where uh, some of the pacing is a little bit of uh, just meh. But like I said, I thought it was entertaining. Otherwise, I really don't have much complaints. I really enjoyed this film. I thought it was entertaining, and I'm surprised that Zack Snyder knocked it right out of the park with another zombie film. And honestly, considering what he's done with superhero films, I'm kind of curious to know what else he can do with horror films. And I mentioned this to a friend of mine. I mean, he's done zombie films, so why not tackle another type of monster? I'm like... Maybe he can do a werewolf film, which honestly is the best case for me personally, because, I mean, we've seen like dozens of, of zombie films over the years, just like, I'm like, make hey, werewolves awesome again. I mean, that's my personal opinion. I just wanted to uh, get that off my chest for a brief second. I'm gonna give Army of the Dead an A minus. <laughs> So I'm kind of curious to know what you thought of the film if you managed to see it in theaters or, or are you looking forward to watching it on Netflix? Let me know in the comment section below. And I'm really looking forward to talking about uh, other movies I plan to talk about this week. I plan to cover Mortal Kombat, Alien for my 70s and 80s month, as well as Lethal Weapon, which I'm definitely looking forward to talking about since I've uh, checked that out a few times recently. So guys, thank you so much as always for watching. I'm looking forward to doing more videos really soon. And if you want my thoughts on old or new movies, of course, you know where to find me.